Let's see what we can do here. So quick backstory on this, I bought this off a co-worker for zero dollars. As you can see here, I'm trying to get it to run. We just pulled off the earbox and we're spraying some starting fluid in and seeing what the heck it does. And right there you saw we got it to sputter a little bit. So after a bit of fiddling around, a couple hours, we got a $15 CDI for this little e-ton online, and now... Welcome to our lives. You know, you hit the start button to stop the end. So let's mount the CDI, let's put the seat on and then potentially throw this in the bed of the truck and take it down and see how it does speed-wise in the fields. Are you sure about that? So now we're out at the alfalfa field taking our first test run. This was a few days later and I decided I'm going to put a tachometer hour meter on it. Not only that, I'm going to show you guys at home how to do it yourselves. We got Mr. Old Man filming for us today. Just get it out of the box, should already be lit up, if it's not it's broken. You hold down the S1 button and you'll see you'll start to get numbers. You got 01, 02, 03, and 04. Now 01 means firing twice every time the engine spins over. 02 means firing once every time the engine spins over. 03 means firing every once every two times the engine turns. The fourth one is just no tachometer at all, no RPM, just show the hours. So you can do what you want. Uh, two and four are probably the ones that you guys are going to use the most because two is what two and four stroke engines run on. I'm just going to zip tie it on right here, right where I can see it. You got to route this wire to your spark plug wire. If you're doing a scooter or something, you just run it down the handlebars. And on my fire kill part, I actually had to lengthen the wire. So old man's going to go grab us a twist tie. So basically, we're just rolling this up. They come with a twist tie too. This will be twist tied up when you get it in the package. This is showing hours. So right now we have 0.0, .0 hours on it since we installed this. You can also set up a maintenance timer as well. That's in the instructions. So we're going to go ahead and fire it up and show you the RPM function. It has the RPM number on there, and this thing kind of, 
idle slow once it's warmed up. It's weird. I need to fix it. Here with old man. Storm coming in. There's a storm coming in, yes, very observant. I have to make another box with a lid. No. So that about wraps it up. We bought a mini ATV, got it running, we took it out in the field for a little test rip, and we put a tachometer on it. So stay tuned because we got an off-road showdown coming. Because we got shut up phone. ATV versus mini bike versus go-kart. Stay tuned. It's 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 gonna be a woozer. A real Ben puncher right there. Like it's it's gonna be something. Actually I think you call it a Nathan puncher. With that cliffhanger, I'll see you guys in the next one. Next time on Cartman Productions. Hi ladies and gentlemen, this is a sponsorship for Altoids. But they're not Altoids. Hi, it's me, Dawson. Yes, me, Dawson, the fat kid. <clears throat> Listen, I'm so sorry you had to watch that. Here's a puppy. Is your day fixed? I hope it is. Look at the puppy.